Welcome Taurus, this is your January 2024 tarot forecast. It is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel. There is a competition running this month, so if you want to go into the Draw to Win the Sacred Power Oracle, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, pop a comment down below you want to win this deck, you'll go into the draw. Uh, my personal readings are open if you want to get a personal reading with me i'll leave the booking link on here and down below uh, i will be closing them at the end of january so if you do want to jump in and get a booking with me make sure to get in touch all right let's dive in darling so pulling you a central energy from the beautiful precious gems oracle let's see what you need to know taurus Ooh, look at the colors on this. You've pulled Atlantisite, which is all about purity. Number six represents abundance and love, emotional purity. So it's a mix of very lime greens, pretty much the color I'm wearing in purples. All right, let's pull you up the guidance. It says Taurus. Hold me in your hand and be cradled in the arms of Mother Nature, gently rocked by the earth, soothed by the ocean, nurtured by the spirits in the woods. Feel the compassionate embrace of the natural world as it takes you into its heart and whispers you are home. Relax into love, oh how sweet it will be. The vivid lime green of serpentine relates to the nature spirits and overcoming fear. The pink and purple uh, is linked to love, compassion, emotional healing. Both stones stimulate spiritual awakening. Atlantisite is a combination of both of these stones and their qualities. So it's associated with the elements of earth and wind and the heart chakra. If you're experiencing emotional or physical problems in this area, at Atlantisite can help clear blocked energy and help you move forward. It encourages movement away from emotions such as fear or jealousy. It helps you feel comfortable with the purity of your emotions through the release and healing of past judgment. This oracle is asking you to reacquaint yourself with the true meaning of love and contemplate the beauty of nature. Find yourself in woodlands, birdsong or the sea and spend some time thinking about the things that you love about your life and bask in this soothing, welcoming energy. Feed yourself kindness, compassion, and absorb love. There is a divine meaning, which I think is very useful to you. It's all about self-love as a challenge. Acknowledge and heal your emotional wounds. Release your fear of giving and or receiving love. Time alone in nature brings peace and restoration. Dare to accept how you truly feel. So instead of shoving those emotions down, it's time to deal with them, yeah? There's an affirmation here. It says, I understand what pure love is. I am in tune with love. I recognize love is all around me. I radiate love as a blessing to others. So not only taking love, but giving love, openly giving your love, not being afraid to openly give love. All right, let's have a look at your spiritual guidance. Oh, you've got the lovers coming in, a cosmic union destined for greatness. So this is why spirits are asking you to clear any emotional blockages that have got you've got within self because you've got a twin flame or a soulmate coming in if they're not already in your life. Oh, you've got the ancient grandmother, which is being a teacher. All of your life experiences, your wisdom, you can share with others. She's got an amazing, beautiful owl on top of her head, which represents truth and wisdom. So whether you do that as part of something you're passionate about, whether it is you help it to guide your children or friendships or family in the workplace. And you've got the aquamarine star, which is trusting your intuition, confidently trusting your intuition. It's also a mention again about love. And you've got the star daughters, which is connecting with your friendships. I sing, dance and play with my sisters at sunset. So whether you're a guy or a girl, connecting with those supportive networks around you. 
All right, let's have a look at four key areas of focus for you with the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Mm, got a message that you need to embrace life, so not work so hard. Get out and enjoy nature. Get in touch with life, the beauty of life. There's an egret watching the sun go down at the sunset. Yeah, it's so beautiful. And there's an need for you to take risks when it comes to life, to love. The eagle there represents victory. It represents new beginnings, the energy to rise above challenges when you feel like you don't have it. Your highest connection to source, energy, spirit. Well, you've got wonders here. So the ability to manifest miracles in your life. And also a need for you to focus on what's truly important to you. There's a beautiful snow leopard there. All right, let's put some clarifiers with the energy oracle. First up, let's have a look at this divine union and you embracing life. All right, you've got three here. Oh, you got the angel of love that wants to touch your life and bring this union to you. Spirit's saying you're absolutely going to have victory this time around when it comes to love. And there's also this beautiful, happy family. So it could be a blended family coming together. If you have children, there's a partner coming that's going to be very supportive of you and your children. Let's have a look at you being the teacher, leading with your wisdom. The ancient grandmother. Ooh, you've got your solar plexus chakra here. So this is your life force energy. Can mean that you're coming into a state of feeling a lot more health and vitality. Can also mean that you need to boost it up. And you've got woman holding her heart here. So girls, being open, ready for love. Guys can certainly represent a love interest. Number 44, direct angelic number. Mm -hmm, from spirit and there's going to be lots of open doors lots of opportunities so if you're looking for love there's plenty of love there spirit saying could be spoiled for choice all right let's have a look at your trust in your intuition and taking risks mm. some of you are feeling really balanced or you're coming into a state of balance physically and emotionally and mentally and you've got women holding a coin, so certainly a lot of financial security, stability. Guys, if this is a love interest coming in, she's got an open heart. She's also financially stable. Oh, and you've got the journey card, so whoever it is might be at a bit of a distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you may need to travel towards each other. Let's have a look at you connecting with your friendships, the ability to create miracles in your life. You need to focus. Okay. There's a little bit of a storm warning going off here. Okay, you've got a contract coming in. So there could be some disruptions to your plan. So you could make plans and then you've got to address a contract coming in, which I'm going to say for some of you is work or business related. Uh, it can be directly related to the throat chakra. You speaking your truth. Um, you might need to negotiate what the terms are. The Spirit is saying you need to have patience with the timing of things. Why is there a storm here? Mm. You've just got to live in the present moment, so don't recycle backwards to the past, Spirit saying. You've got to really love and appreciate yourself. So knowing that you deserve a beautiful love, this new job offer coming in, now again, you've pulled community, massive focus on you connecting with community and friendships. Okay, and there's a bit of indecision going on. You might be at a bit of a crossroads. Do I go left? Do I go right? Why is that there? Oh, it's related to either envy or a state of lack. Guidance. Okay. Spirit's saying you just need a solid plan or strategy. So when we have a plan, we feel more secure, yeah? Particularly if it's a big opportunity coming in. Okay, for some of you, it's related to a broken heart, so something from the past. So the planning, the strategy could be actually journaling because there's also journaling here. Journaling out your feelings, um, things that have held you back in the past which prevents you from fully opening up to love in the now because Spirit's trying to get you ready for love. Mm -hmm. You've also got the door to value opening, so money flying through the door. So money's looking good. 
Oh, your cornucopia coming. Success on every level. God damn it, Taurus. Do the work to release whatever's holding you stuck. You've been carrying it around for ages and you need to let it go. So what's the payoff when we do that? It is the attachment. Holding yourself stuck. The payoff for holding yourself stuck means you don't have to get out of your comfort zone. You don't have to allow your heart to get hurt again by new love. Um, you can carry around the pain and do the woe is me. I'm a victim in my own life. And yet at any time you can release yourself by taking the mask off and releasing the chains, binding yourself there. There's always a payoff. Usually it means that we don't have to take a risk again or start something new. Yeah, because you've got deceit here. Some of you there was something deceitful that happened or you're deceiving yourself that you can't move forward and you can. And you need to regularly balance your energy with some rest and rejuvenation. On the bottom of the deck, you've got hostilities. Now, that energy has come out for you before, Taurus. So it is the next lover from the past for a lot of you where there was deceit. They don't, still don't treat you right. Um, if you've got family together, you're still having to deal with each other. Uh, but you've got this amazing love that wants to come in for you. Abundance, blessings, new job offer. It's up to you if you hold yourself stuck. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. Having a look at this top row, which is an amazing love coming in. Spirit saying you like victory this time around. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, happy family. Embracing life. Yeah, Spirit saying you don't need to rush it. Take your time. Don't rush this connection when it comes in. And ask for help if you need it. So this is, I'm going to say for some of you, it's around the home. Could be with children. And you've also got Ishul Medicine Woman. Some of you have divine healing abilities within yourself. I'm not sure if you know that. Oh, you got Mother Mary. Expect a miracle. Just know your prayers have been heard. They are being answered. Relation to love, money, contracts, happy family. It's all coming in for you, Taurus. Let's have a look at you being the ancient grandmother, guy or girl, your wisdom, all the doors that want to open, the focus on love. Okay, you've got Kunya and Compassion, releasing harsh judgments about self and others. Mm -hmm. So whenever we have that energy come through, it's just to release us, yeah? And your independence is an integral part of who you are, so embrace it. And doing creative things would be really good for you to get your mind off things where... You're being more practical. So the creative side of you is going to help you get in touch with your inner child. Let's have a look at your trust in your intuition, taking risks. Uh, there's a focus on balance, your coin, possibly traveling. you got your Aphrodite energy, guy or girl. There's a need for you to focus on self-care, love and self. Again, you got the message to be unconditionally loving. So you're going to be the, have to be the bigger person, whoever it is from the past. Also, make sure that you're not conditionally loving. What does that mean? So if someone doesn't meet your expectations, you withhold love or you pull love back. Mm -hmm. And be honest with yourself. What's your passions? What lights you up? Living in accordance with what has meaning and value for you. Let's have a look at this side where there's certainly a need to release yourself from attachments, but there's so many blessings coming in. Oh, yeah, here we go. Carly, endings and beginnings. You've got to release the old to open up to the new. You can get that message for a few months. you got Maui, Mother Earth. Some of you are very passionate about protecting Mother Earth, Mother Nature. It can also be your happy place and just a need for you to be strong. Everything's coming together for you. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Crystal Healing Tank. Mm. So it's calling for you to have courage and faith on these new beginnings, tiger's eye. Particularly when it comes to love. Spirit saying you are going to get clarity about anything holding you back. Particularly life lessons and everything's trying to bring you into balance. Your masculine and your feminine energies. And just watch the lunar cycles. They may affect your energy, your emotions. Mm. Again, you've got Mother Earth here. So on this side, you've pulled Mother Earth at least twice. And you've also pulled it over here somewhere. I can't remember exactly where it is. 
So getting your feet on Mother Earth is really going to help you de-stress. And there's a need for you to step into your personal power, your empowerment. Everything's trying to lead you to your personal power. On the bottom of the deck, you've got forgiveness. So again, there's a need for you to forgive someone from the past or forgive yourself. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. <laughs> Darling, she can see herself in nature three times in a row. <laughs> oh, my God. And I need for you to embrace the masculine. So this is your strength, your personal power, your empowerment. Go after what it is you want. You've got a message to be vigilant. So just watch the energies of others from the past trying to still upset you. So you're going to have to deal with them, right? But... Or do you? I don't know. Is there a way to diffuse the situation so you don't physically have to deal with them? Like if you've got to hand children over, well, can grandma or grandpa hand the children over if this person will not quit being hostile? Mm -hmm. The energy is really off, darling. And you've just got blessings that want to happen for you. Again, you got a message, time to ground your energy. That's four or five times Mother Earth's come out. Mm. And again, on this side, a need to let go of the old. Uh, yeah, massive message. Massive message that there is an energy from the past you need to release or your, your attachment to it. So if you're in a cycle of relating that is toxic because of how they show up, you've got to change how you show up to that energy, which means that you don't allow their energy to affect you. So whenever they're being hostile, just be nice. Whenever they're being hostile, just be matter of fact and keep it to the facts. Like, here's the children, here's their bags, off you go. Um, or I'll drop them off whenever, yeah. Just keep it really like, mm. um, particularly if there's children involved, I've got to say, because it kind of feels like that, my loves. If you're constantly having to deal with someone from the past where you cannot separate your energy, uh, you know, they have to be in your life for a reason because you've got children together. Love to hear if that resonates with you because all they're trying to do is undermine your happiness because you've split, you've separated, you've got major blessings that want to happen for you and they're constantly trying to make you feel guilty or awful for whatever went on before and it's done and dusted, done and dusted a long time ago. Mm, sitting right in your heart chakra. Yep. All right, let's pull you some guidance. Oh, you got fitness routines. So I need to focus. Some of you may have started a new fitness routine. Oh, your third eye chakra has come out again. So really a need for you to uh, trust yourself and your intuition. And your friends have come out. So certainly a need for you to connect with your friendships. Uh, what's that come out? Three times? Mm-hmm. Let's see who you connected to in the spirit realm, divine gifts and talents. Oh, you're divinely protected by spirit. Wow. Watching over you. Again, the teachers come out. You've got so much wisdom you can help use in sp spiritual teaching, helping others on their path, and your angels are watching over you. Mm -hmm. So much protection. Which means that whatever's going on right, that person's going to get some karma. It's, gen it's generally not gentle, darling. Is that karma? Mm? No. <laughs> no, they need to quit what they're doing. Mm. This is your life path guidance. Your voice and your message is your gift. Another confirmation you've got a message to share with the world. Oh, you're going, there's major life changes happening, going in a new direction. It could be career, it can certainly be love. Oh, and for some of you, it's related to film and television. Mm -hmm. Get in front of the camera. All right, let's pull you a message from your angels. Oh, you got Archangel Metatron, one of the strongest archangels in the universe. I'm your link between heaven and earth, between your humanity and divinity. I'm here to help you heal the conflict that exists between your heart and mind. Feel me in your heart and thoughts through oneness. There is love. So if you're feeling overly responsible for the past, spirit saying, do not. Mm -hmm. Do not. Free yourself. What are you freeing yourself from? 
guilt, someone trying to make you feel guilty, mm -hmm. shame, that applies, guilty for feeling happy, having happiness come into your life, yeah, time to release it, my loves, Oof. wow, this is your crowning energy from the Sacred Rebel Oracle, which is she feels, she knows. Have a look at that. Number 22 is taking a leap of faith. Angelic number. This deck's by Lana Fairchild. It says Taurus. An illumination is erupting from within you as a vision that is bringing what was once obscured into clarity. It's not likely to happen as a blinding, shocking insight, but more of a softer, gentle knowing. It's like knowing something without understanding exactly when or how you came to know it. This insight will assist you and you are asked to honour it. You will know which insight it is at the right time. Your heart will tell you. You are therefore being asked to rely upon the clarity that is coming to you now or has recently come gently but firmly from that place of knowing, intend to act and take your next steps forward. This oracle comes to you with guidance, particularly about your long range or long term developments. Something that is far bigger than your immediate situation, issue or moment is of importance. And although you'll only have a dim sense of what that possibly is at best, the situation you find yourself in right now may not be one of joy, but in time you will understand the bigger picture. You will come to see why things are happening as they are and how you're being helped onto the next stage of your path, even though it may look like an obstacle right now. You're being asked to think in terms of long-term happiness. Sometimes this warrants a change or temporary restriction in the short term. And if you can't see how the present can possibly become what you sense the future to be, this message is especially relevant. Through the natural process of transformation, great leaps are indeed possible. You simply must be prepared to surrender into the process with absolute trust. So this oracle brings you specific guidance. The situations in your current life are particularly geared towards a more significant manifestation that is coming to you according to your life path and purpose. This is a stage of preparation and of building a foundation that will hold you strong and centered as your creative journey unfolds and your life path becomes even more brilliant and luminous. So keep plugging away, remain patient, but most of all, be hopeful and trust in the light that you sense ahead of you. For it is that light within you simply revealed more fully. All that's happening now is happening to that end. There's a healing process here. I think it'll be really useful for you to do. It says, stand with your feet at hip width and your arms loosely and comfortably by your side, slightly away from your body. You could just sit there comfortably and imagine this, or you might want to do it. And then say aloud, just listen. I feel the light of all that I am and will be unfolding from within me now. Stand still and rest your eyes on one point or lightly close them if you can do so without compromising your balance. Feel, sense, imagine or perceive there is a pure light switched on from inside you, like an internal light switch was flicked on. Perceive or feel the light is growing brighter and brighter and wider and more radiant. Allow it to shine outwards from within you as if there was a vibrant sun at your center of your being with its rays extended outwards in all directions. You are a radiant, glowing being. Can you feel the joy and uplifting happiness of it? And when you're ready, just say, listen. I surrender what is into the loving fires of transformation, the light of which illuminates the present and manifests the future in the highest creative expression of unconditional love. Be with that inner light for several moments and then place as much of your intention as possible into your feet, feeling the connection to the ground beneath you. Feel the present moment of being aware of the physical sensations of your feet. Feel their coolness or their warmth. Are they tingly, cold or stiff or in need of some flexing and stretching? Move your feet as you wish and in your own time, simply open your eyes. Move around and return to your day of e day or evening. You've completed your healing process. 
when we shine light out like that, it's kind of to remind you that you're limitless and that you can shine that beautiful light out to the world as far as you want it to go. And when they did the thing at the end, which is the feet, they're grounding you back to Mother Earth, right? So as above, so below. Mm -hmm. Wow, beautiful. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below and how there's a reading resonated for you. Do make sure to hit that like button, share, subscribe to my channel. Helps enormously. Take it easy and for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.